true or false. Butterflies have few enemies. Does that word few mean a little or a lot? Few means a little. So do butterflies have just a little bit of enemies? True or false? False. Butterflies have many enemies. Cats, birds, frogs, lizards, spiders, and humans. To survive, many butterflies have strange designs, shapes, or patterns on their wings. A number have large spots called eye spots which can make the butterfly look like an owl or another animal. The eye spots startle the enemy, giving the butterfly time to escape. Fun fact, a butterfly's eye spots may get bigger or smaller with the seasons. True or false, some butterflies are nearly invisible. Can you see that butterfly up against the trunk of a tree? You can, but he's pretty well hidden, isn't he? True, some butterflies just blend into their surroundings. This ability is called, remember the word? Camouflage. A few kinds of butterflies look like dead leaves. Some resemble the gray bark on trees or have wings that are bright on top and dull underneath. When in danger, they land on twigs, or leaves and fold up their wings. Fun fact, some butterflies have see-through wings with very few scales which make them nearly invisible. Can you see the butterfly on that tree? That one really blends in, doesn't it? True or false, the largest butterfly in the world lives in the United States. False. The world's largest butterfly lives in the treetops of New Guinea, far from North America. The Queen Alexandra's bird wing has a wingspan of about one foot. That's about the wing size, tip to tip, of a robin. It's almost as big as a bird. Laws now protect the endangered Queen Alexandra's bird wing from hunters. True or false. The smallest butterfly is the size of a thumbnail. Look at your thumb. Do you think there's a butterfly that could be that small? True. The world's smallest butterfly is the western pygmy blue. Most of these butterflies live in tropical areas of Africa and the Hawaiian Islands. The pygmy blue with its wings open would fit on a dime. It's only a half an inch wide. Butterflies live in all continents around the world except Antarctica. What do we know about Antarctica that would not make it a good habitat for a butterfly? Remember when we studied about penguins? Penguins need a very cold place, right? Or can survive in a very cold place because God's given them blubber and special um, Waterproof feathers, remember? Does a butterfly have any of that? We read that a butterfly needs a lot of heat and sun. So would they be able to live in Antarctica where it's cold and snowy and icy? Remember, God has made every creature very specific to the place that he wants it to live. So he, don't, he never intended for the butterfly to live in Antarctica. True or false? Butterflies and moths look alike. True, butterflies and moths look alike, even though moths tend to be plump and fuzzy. Another way to tell butterflies and moths apart is to see them at rest. Most butterflies at rest hold their wings straight up over their back. Moths generally spread their wings flat over their back. Moths do not have knobs or bulbs at the end of their antenna like butterflies do. Look, they look more like a feather. True or false? Butterflies live only one day. False. Butterflies may live from two days to nearly a year. 
Some hibernate or spend the winter in a deep sleep. Monarch butterflies come together in large groups and migrate or move to a warmer place for the winter. True or false? Butterflies lay eggs in nests. I've read about butterflies laying eggs. What do you remember? False. Butterflies lay eggs on leaves. Each egg is very small and often looks like a tiny jelly bean. In one or two weeks, caterpillars, not butterflies, hatch from the eggs. The newborn caterpillars look like little worms or small snakes. In time, these caterpillars grow up to be butterflies. Fun fact, some butterflies lay more than 1,000 eggs at a time. Look at those sticky, sticky eggs on the bottom of a leaf. True or false, newborn caterpillars eat their own eggshell. True, the first thing the newborn eats is his own eggshell. Each kind of butterfly lays eggs on a plant that its young can eat. As each egg hatches, a small caterpillar crawls out. It starts nibbling leaves nonstop. A monarch caterpillar can finish a whole milkweed leaf in about four minutes. A caterpillar never sees its mother, the female butterfly that laid the egg. True or false, some caterpillars are blind. Blind means you can't see. True, a few kinds of caterpillars have no eyes, but most caterpillars have six small eyes on each side of their head. Even so, they can't see very well. Caterpillars can see the difference between light and dark, but they cannot see images. The caterpillar depends on its good sense of touch to find leaves to feed on. True or false? Uh-oh. Caterpillars have no way to protect themselves. This would be a predator, right? Eating its baby. False. Caterpillars have a few ways to defend against attack by birds and other enemies. Some caterpillars look like bird droppings and are left alone. Others have large eye spots on their head. This makes them look scary, like snakes and the enemies flee. True or false, a caterpillar's skin does not grow any bigger. Does its skin grow like our skin grows as we get bigger? True, it does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. Remember we talked about like unzipping? The caterpillar crawls out. Underneath, there's a new skin. Shedding old skin so that the new skin can grow is called molting. Most caterpillars molt four or five times as they grow. True or false, a full-grown caterpillar builds a shell around itself. True, when it's finished growing, the caterpillar hangs down from a twig or leaf. It forms a hard outer case called a, remember the word? Chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the pupa slowly changes into a butterfly. Fun fact, the change from caterpillar to butterfly is called Metamorphosis in a chrysalis, metamorphosis in a chrysalis, metamorphosis in a chrysalis. Every butterfly has the same life cycle, true or false? True. Each butterfly goes through the same four stages in its lifetime. The butterfly starts out as an egg, then it hatches into a caterpillar, which becomes a chrysalis that hatches into a butterfly that lays an egg that becomes a caterpillar that forms a chrysalis and then out from it emerges a butterfly and that's called the life cycle. Thanks for helping me today, friends. <laughs>